Alright, welcome everyone, we're Semblance of Sanity, I'm Caleb, I'm Jacob, and we're here for Hajime no Ippo, episode 42. Ippo's mom is not doing well. Yeah. She's yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. And the training camp's right around the corner, and yeah, this is not good. Yeah, it's, it's, not it's good. a time where Ippo really needs to be with the family he has left and, you know, really take care of her and stuff, but his dream, his passion, mm -hmm. conflicts with that. Yep. And Time, the yeah. life of a boxer, the career of a boxer, is probably not one that lasts for very long. So, you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, we can go with the meta thing of this and know that his story well, is going to last for quite a long okay, time. Okay, yes, yes, that is true. But, but mm -hmm. specifically with regards to his mom, like she's working hard solo, yep. and that's not something she's used to. And she probably wouldn't want Epo to worry about her, even though she did yep. collapse and you know is in the yep. hospital now and stuff like that. But but she's so far okay. She's mm -hmm. so far okay. Yep. Um. It, it'll be a it'll be an interesting thing to see Epo, who's kind of been the just wholesome goodest boy, deal with something that's yep. outside of his control. Right. Because all mm -hmm. the other problems that he's had to basically deal with are things that he can either just leave, like the bullies, and ignore, mm -hmm. or the things that he can directly influence. Whereas right. this like one... to get better and things like that. Yeah. This one he cannot. And Yeah. Uh, but maybe he can. Who knows? He could come up with something. Like yeah. To, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. So oh. y'all, without further ado, let's get into it. <coughs> Whoa! What the heck? <coughs> All right. Yeah. Like inhaled. Something hit the back of my throat. Oh. Take a drink. Start away. Oh. I want this only. Ah. Oh. Oh. It's interesting because that OP uh, kind of section right there seemed to have a bit where Ippo was like losing, and then yeah. it was like he was thinking of all of his past fights, and sure. then the green flashes in his eyes and mm -hmm. he gets back up, you know? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So we're gonna see. Oh, oh. Ippo doing the job now. Yeah. Just no question about it. Oh. Uh. oh, all these guys are like, hey, what? She okay? Ah. Wow. Uh. Aww. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course she does. Of course she does. Sharing a dream. Oh, yeah, that's a good title. That is very relevant. Yeah. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way she could have done this solo. Oh my god, 3.45. 3.45 in the morning. Yeah. He's trying to do both. Yeah, he's, 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 wow. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, he is a strong I hope boy. Those are, I hope those are empty, though, you know. Oh. Wow. Wow. No, You know what would be no, awesome? No relenting on that. No. 
ったら今頃合宿だったのにね試合も控えてるんだししばらくお店閉めてもいいんだよダメだよ休業なんかしたらお客さん離れちゃうよいっそのことやめちゃおうか釣り船やほらどうせ大して儲からないし船はどうするのあの船は父さんが残した船だあああああああああああああああああああああああああああ This is exactly what she said. Yeah, yeah. It will not be that. It will not be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. He sleeps right through it. No. Crap. See, this is the thing. You got to be、yeah. honest with what your strengths are and how,、oh, what your limits、no. are. うん。Wow. Not once. That's. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. You can't do it. He's acknowledging it. It's good. Yeah. 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 Wow. I really、nice. hope. I really、This、hope. This is awesome. His mom just sells the boat and everything from the hospital. Yeah, I, I, did, I know she did mention the, the classified ads and stuff, but. Oh. <laughs> But not like this. あら、今日は早いのね。何してるの見てのとおり帰るのさ帰るって何言ってるのまだちゃんと寝てなきゃダメだよお前一人じゃ店が心配でろくんなのあんたにはああ。いやー。僕が甘かった。<笑> うん。母さんはまた無理する。母さん。実はさ、僕ボクシングやめようかどうか迷ってたんだ。で、でも今母さんが言ってたみたいに僕にはボクシングが一番大事だし、好きだからやっぱりやめられないよ。母さんが元気
it's so awesome. <laughs> wow. Paint the beach red? Ah! <laughs> it's a typhoon! <laughs> oh crap, a typhoon. Boat oh. going out. Ah! <laughs> 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 the Harbinger of Death and of Poverty! Epo. <laughs> Accounting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, who is this? No way. Wait. What? Wait. Wait, are these some of his fans? I I think it's I think it's one of his fans, yeah. Is this the is this one of the bullies? Maybe. Oh He's what? The, he wants to be a manga artist. He wants to be a manga artist, oh my wow. god. Is this the is this the author's self insert basically? Boxing. Boxing manga, yep. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is so wholesome. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Shared dream. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the thing is, there's probably a bunch of people like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 it's like this is excellent material. Yep. <laughs> That's how his footwork is so stable. Yes, yeah. yes. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. This is great. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I don't know if this guy's cut out for it, you know? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't vomit into the water! <laughs> He's just absolutely destroyed. disheartened and destroyed, yeah. See you again tomorrow, and she's like, oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh. No, no. Get your other buddies. It's like, I can't oh, stop. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, he got All here right. even before All he woke right. up. Yeah. And he's, now he's got four of them. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, my God. This is great. Oh, 
Awesome. This is this is so good. Oh, I love it. This is, this is amazing. Oh, they do know where his place is? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's going to get his ass handed to yeah, him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's seeing if the fire's still there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he's out. He's out. Yep, yep. No, he's gonna get up with a smile. He's yeah, laughing. laughing. It hurts so good. Oh, he's crying. Oh. A classic Apo style. Yeah, yeah. He's home. Oh, he's able to be here. Yep. Wow, what a good ending. Oh. <laughs> Takamura. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm too cool to look at him. Yeah, Baba Baka. Yeah. It's not like I cared about you or anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That la, 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 la. That episode hey. was great. It was so good. Yeah. Okay. Umezawa, I completely forgot about you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. But like, that's that's bringing the like the not poetic justice, but like like just the coming full circle and yeah. just the wonderfulness of that. Yeah. To to a whole other level, like because they right. every time he shows up, they just keep on hitting that nail, and it's I I love it. Because mm -hmm. like that uh, part where he's like, "I'm just gonna be a juvenile delin delinquent for the rest of my life." Yeah. And then yeah. he sees Epo still training, and he's like, "No, I can't." Yeah. That's oh man. Yeah, it's really good. All right. Wow. wow. That's that's a wholesome episode. That's that is a episode. wholesome episode of Epo. And the thing is, we've had mm -hmm. this be done so many times with yeah. Epo, right? Mm -hmm. or not, not with Epo as a character, but you know, as the a show. show, the show yeah. With, with uh, Umezawa. And every time, every time it hits harder. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, yep. He's he's actually growing and evolving as yeah. a character, and this is this is something that I I think most stories just don't do. Mm -hmm. He's such a small character in the grand scheme mm -hmm. of things, yep. and yep. yet every time they revisit him, they add a little bit more to his evolution. They give him basically this 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 evolving aspect of of being not just the the character that becomes his fan. But becoming one that has aspirations and goals and yeah. desires and dreams to go beyond and change who he is. And that's that's inspirational. It's mm -hmm. not just the whole idea of I want to be a boxer like you. It's a I want to take that passion that you have. I want to take that drive that you right. have. I want to apply it to the things that I I have a dream for. I want to take control of my life. There there's this idea that mm -hmm. that with like, you know, there's there's the whole stereotype of like, you know, the 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 bullies in in the high school stories or uh -huh. or in you know in real life or whatever it's like yeah. you know you know where do they end up being 20 years later kind right. of a thing right sure but the idea that it's like that part where he says i'm going to be a juvenile delinquent forever that mm -hmm. that absolutely broke me because because it's and and i i didn't even fully realize it until later like but The battle is won first in the mind, and if you're defeated in, inside your own mind, there's nothing you can do, yep. right? Because then, then you're not fighting anymore, right? right. And mm -hmm. that's and that's, you know, that that line from Rocky Five of you know, no one hits as hard as life, yep. right? That yep. 
that is the thing that I hate to see happen to people, right? Mm -hmm. Where where they let themselves be defeated, right? Yeah. When when the fight burns out, and mm -hmm. and the way he said that, like it was this like this this destiny written in the stars, like I can't really change this, mm -hmm. like. It made me think of that line in the in, you know, in a Knight's Tale when when he comes home and he's like, "I was able to change my stars," or, or mm -hmm. he was able to change his stars, and mm -hmm. and the idea of, of, pushing through the immense pain, the, like the 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 fact that like all the stuff that he was doing in the in the seasickness and and being a manga artist is no easy job, not at all. And, and he's not even a manga artist yet. Right, though. right. And he's not even a manga artist yet. And and he's, you know, helping out at, at the at the shop on top of that. And it's something that, that he can't really do. And he's thinking, I, I, this is this is going to kill me. I can't do this, right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason why that that thinking of, you know, like it's written in the stars, this is your destiny now. Right. Why it becomes such a curse, right? Because, mm -hmm. because it isn't easy to change, right? Mm-hmm. And the idea that Ippo, by basically in the midst of Ippo's struggle, mm -hmm. where Ippo wasn't really thinking, you know, he was going to be able to do much, right? Yep. He was able to give someone else the hope to mm -hmm. believe in something that wasn't themselves because, because Umezawa couldn't believe in himself at that moment, mm -hmm. right? He couldn't. Yep. And yet he's like, but that kid can do it. And I've yep. seen that kid, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he, he he was the, you know, he, he was the kid that we all said, oh, yeah, you know, Ippo, nothing's ever going to come of Ippo, right? And now he's doing this. Yeah. So so maybe, just maybe, I can too. Yep. And that... <sighs> yeah. That's special. Yeah. Because the show it is of itself is really positive, wholesome, and uplifting. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the first times that our main characters, and I would want to bring up an interesting point here, our main characters, we've seen them go through a little bit of a low point. Because I want to bring up actually the Miata stuff that happened previously. Yeah. So with Miata, what happened was is mm -hmm. he ended up going through a bit of a low point due to his boxing performance mm -hmm. that ended up pushing him out of his usual environment going to somewhere new. Yeah. With Ippo, he was doing great in his boxing environment, but something sidelined him with life. So he had to go back to mm -hmm. the familiar. Now, the thing about going back to the familiar versus going back to some to going out to somewhere new and, you know, mm -hmm. scary and dangerous and, you know, untested waters is that in the familiar there's this routine. Mm -hmm. There's this routine that basically mm -hmm. locks you in mentally. Yeah. Now, you thought that you talked about the mental battle being won. Miata was losing the physical battle. He had the mental drive. And if anything, his environment was telling him that you need to, you need to change up the way things go. Like, you mm -hmm. can't do this the same way. Right. So it, it was starting to be a battle for his mind, but he never lost that battle, not just because of his own dream, desires, ambitions, mm -hmm. and all that, but there was a kid who believed in him. And that kid basically ended up spurring things on here. In this yep. case, Ippo's battle in his mind was basically lost for, for a bit there. Mm -hmm. Like, he basically lost and said, okay, I'm going to give up. I'm going to take care of my mom because that's what's most important to me. Yep. And, 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 yeah, boxing, I'm sorry, I'm going to mm -hmm. have to give you up. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The same kind of thing happened with a kid, basically, someone from his environment coming out there and being like, no, you can do this. Mm -hmm. But the thing was is that what they did was free up a little bit of Epo's time so that he could win the mental battle. But what I think he more actually did was that he won a mental battle for himself. Mm -hmm. And because of that, Epo was able to then win his yep. own mental battle. Right. Which is great because it's something that almost, in a way, came out of nothing. Yep. Because completely. Because he looked to Ippos for strength, and then Ippo in turn looked to him for strength. Yep. Where did that strength come from? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, energy cannot be created or destroyed; it can only change forms. All that stuff. Yeah. Where did that come from? It came from whatever brought him here. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was. Yeah. It was not just the. 
interactions that he had with him in the past. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why did he want to become a manga artist? Who knows? Mm -hmm. It's a dream. Yep. That's the point. The dreams of what they are and what have you, they don't (sighs) really manifest in reality until we declare them or until we take action upon them. A lot of action. A lot of action. But the thing is, is that usually the first bit of action is the hardest bit of action. Mm -hmm. Because actually, consistent action is easy. We are too much in our own heads with regards to grading how well our action is. When actually Mm -hmm. the main point is that you take consistent action. He takes consistent action in the most difficult scenario that this show has basically presented for someone of a non-boxer to handle. Mm -hmm. And does it once... Like, once Ippo even thinks, ah, he's going to give up. And then right. in classic style of the whole boxing format thing, he gets back right. up and he's and, here even earlier than Ippo. Yeah. And that's what? And that's what, what? I, what I love about this because because the thing is that with Ippo, he's the main character, right? Yep. So so you it's it's possible to just sort of write off the things that Ippo does, certain things that Ippo does, even though the, the emotional conflict and the, and the stress of what do I do? I need to help my mom. Right. She's more important than boxing as much as I love boxing. Yep. It's fantastic, right? For sure. But the whole struggle of will he give up, right? Right. Because we know that Ippo's not going to give up. We know well, we he don't won't. know yeah. if Uma, but Umizawa, we don't know what he's going to do. Nope. Right. And and the idea that basically the the way these curses are broken and the reason why they're why it's so hard to break them is because you will be pushed to your limit, right? You will be pushed to that point where you're at, where, you know, when you're at your lowest point, we're open to the greatest change uh-huh. to either stay where we are or to grow, yep. right? And and the reason why it's so tough to break is because when people, most of the time when people get to that point, yep. they do the, in some ways, the same thing, right? <laughs> and they say, <laughs> let's, let's just go with what we know and, and not worry about that, that strange, crazy stuff, right? Yeah. Oh. But you have the choice. Yep. You have the choice, and it, and and yeah. and it's not like you can you can hold the decision against anyone if they choose not to, mm-hmm. but never ever feel like you can't make that choice to do right. the crazy thing. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. and because of that, because he because you know, Ippo helped him dare to dream, right? Yeah. This kid that he used to pick on, right. He's able to do that thing where, where you know, I'm, I'm sure that he was able to, that basically him waking up early like that, it wasn't just something of like, okay, I'm going to do this, but it's not going sure. to be sustainable kind of a thing. Right. Right? Because that can happen sometimes too. Uh-huh. I'm sure that when, when he saw that, he, a fire was lit in him and, and suddenly he's like, no, I think I can go farther. And, and you know, he got that second wind, like, you know, when you're really tired from running or something like that yep. and you keep going and then all of a sudden you're like, wait. This isn't so bad. I can be in this state, right? You know, that this is all just a trick of the mind saying that I have to stop now, right? Yeah. And now he's doing something that he never would have thought possible before. Mm-hmm. And given that he's set up to be basically the, the mangaka, right? You know, the, like he's telling Ippo's story. Mm-hmm. He ended up doing his dream. Yeah. How many chapters are in Ippo? Umezawa ended up doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, we can we can infer all we want, but you know, mm-hmm. but that's but the connection is is definitely there. Yeah, the connection is definitely there. It's a fun little way for the the manga cut to end up in inserting mm-hmm. themselves into the story yep. and going on this little bit of a redemption story. Might even be more or less what his actual story was. Yeah, yeah. The uh-huh. reason why he became a manga cut was maybe because he had a hero mm-hmm. out there who was into boxing. And he started getting into boxing because of them. Sure. And then he ended up writing the whole Ipo, Hajime no Ipo story based mm-hmm. on the rough, rough stuff of a of a, of, yep. of a story of a real life person. And I, I don't think that that's too far off from the truth. However, I, I, I'm not going to go yeah, deep, we don't in, know. You deep know. into any theories uh-huh. regarding that. But um, the thing that I, I, am, I am impressed with this show doing here... I really didn't want them to do your theory originally, which was oh. have the mom sell the boat. Gotcha. I, I really didn't want to have that happen here. Mm-hmm. The idea of there being this thing where the mom and Ipo are in a miscommunication type situation. 
she's not able to basically be honest with him about the fact that this strain of this job will like kill her basically like mm-hmm. put her into an early grave Epo is not honest about the fact that he's really struggling with this and he is upset he is saddened at the fact that he's going to be having to quit boxing here right of all the characters they could bring back here and have this make the most sense, Umezawa is perfect for that. Yep. In fact, I am I am impressed that the show basically sets you up for a what? Who is this? Right. By having mm-hmm. his whole um the haircut and everything, yeah. Yeah, having the his whole hair being, being gone. Yeah, the pompadour exactly, yeah. having that be all cut and stuff basically saying that there was a fundamental change that happened with this guy Mm -hmm. off screen at some point. Yep. And this is the result of that. The idea that the result of what his change was happened before he started working at this job. Right. So even though we have the meta knowledge of knowing that this manga show goes on for a very long time, so Ippo's Mm -hmm. not going to quit, the idea of that what his role in the story was has kept exceeding what the original bounds of his character looked like when we were introduced to him bullying yeah. Ipo on the you know on yeah, the it's, on the trail you know it it feels so, like it feels like the um yeah the line that Gandalf says about Gollum in I think it's the fellowship you when know he's talking with Frodo about uh, uh-huh. pity yeah well pity and the and the idea that Maybe that that maybe even some some you know wretched creature like Gollum still has a part to play in this, right? Oh, sure. You know that sure. that good can come from the most unexpected of places. When yeah. when we start this show, when we started this show, right? Mm-hmm. We didn't expect anything good to come from Umizawa. Well, we didn't right? expect anything deep, really. He's just, yeah. He's uh-huh. just you know we just didn't expect he's anything. Just, like, he's just the he's, bully. He's the bully. Right? Right? He was right? an asshole. Right. Right. And then, and wouldn't then, you know it? And then, right? Like he's gone through some of the biggest character yep. development of anyone on this show now. And now he's and because because the thing is, is him rooting for Epo when Epo's doing great and all that totally. stuff. It's fun. It's a cool. Yeah. It's a cool switch of now. He's like, oh yeah, he's, no, I'm he's a doing, fan. Yeah, I'm a fan, right? For sure. But the idea is that like it was always it was always kind of like a sort of like almost a tongue in cheek joke of mm-hmm. him being all like, what? No, I'm not a fan or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now. In a very serious way, uh-huh. he is supporting Epo. Yep. Right. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it's it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I liked Epo going and looking back and kind of thinking of all the other fighters he's uh, mm-hmm. fought. Um, I liked how Yamada or Yamada was basically worried about Epo. Um, everyone else is trying to be like, hey, hey, let's mm-hmm. not worry about it. Let's focus on what we're here to do. Yep. Um, I liked how the uh, the idea of the storm being kind of the representation of the the struggles out yep. there. The idea that you know this is, I'd say, way over the top in terms of extrapolating something from this. But Japan being an island, just the idea that you know you're surrounded by the storm of life and it's this thing that you can't escape it just impedes upon you and it makes this it makes this whole you know existence that he has of working the job be this extra struggle and especially when he goes out onto the water in a boat regularly a storm you know well yeah he he doesn't go on the storm exactly my point is that the mom thing is something he can't control a storm is something you can't control right the idea is that when storms come when struggles come what do you do? Mm-hmm. Do you basically buckle in and say, well, I can't control it, so therefore, you know, there's absolutely nothing I can do at all? Or do you divert your energy over to the places where you can control things and you end up right. doing that? Because I think in a lot of ways, the whole idea of taking control of your life, like, act- absolutely, like, pisses people off. Like, like a lot of hmm. people. Because it's the idea that, Wait, I have no control over anything like that. Like that's 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 the point, right? And I think that I think that it's definitely a you know, it's definitely a a thing to keep in balance with, yeah, you yeah. know, the truth that there is a lot in life right. that we cannot control. Right. But yeah, the we don't have that, direct control of anything outside of ourselves and even exactly. then that's only on a good day. Right. The idea is that 
I think this this episode was trying to bring up the point that the environment mm -hmm. is something Epo can't control. Right. The stuff that other people do, mm -hmm. the yeah. the uh, the 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 settings of his mom, basically his mom's health, the choices mm -hmm. that she's going to make. Right. He tried to control the environment of the workplace thing all by himself as a this is this is me trying to maintain a semblance of sanity if you mm -hmm. will and life wasn't going to let him do that right he would have been a probably a bitter old man if he continued with this job for you know the next like 20 years or what have you yeah like to and reminiscing about the days of Mm -hmm. I, you know, I could have been a professional boxer. And, no, and, I, I was a professional mm -hmm. boxer. Right. And I was really good. I was going for the top. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. And Epo's a good boy, so so he probably he probably would have borne it a lot quieter than most. Yes. But that doesn't mean that the, yeah, it that the cry changed. of his heart was silent. Yeah, it would have changed him. And that's yeah. the difference between where mm -hmm. the environment didn't turn him in. If, it wouldn't have turned him into this, you know, mm -hmm. kind of quiet, depressed guy if he had switched his life all the way over to this but he would have somewhat been responsible for that right because it's because even if you can't control your environment you can control what you do in response How you to your react environment. to it yeah umezawa couldn't control the fact that he got seasick right yeah that the rocking of the boat really threw him off that the that the boxes that yes, he was carrying well were stupid heavy yeah. right but he could control how he responded to that yep even though at it got to the point where he thought there's no way I this can will kill I me. can I can respond to anything but walking away right. right yeah but wait maybe you can yeah maybe you can yeah and uh, yeah yeah it's those questions like you're saying it's those questions of where yeah. you basically buckle down and you go wait mm -hmm. What areas inside of me? What areas of my thoughts, yeah. of my 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 beliefs, and everything up here? What parts do I actually have control mm -hmm. over? Yeah. You ask that question because there's some really cool things that you can do once you realize which parts you do have control over. Because it's it's surprisingly, uh, I would say, uh, it's a it's a chain reaction. I would say. Right. Once you start seeing what you control up in here, mm -hmm. the things that you can change yep. not control because mm -hmm. there's always right. that natural one you can roll well right it's yeah but you can put stuff out there and who knows what will happen right, right? magic can happen mm -hmm. like with umezawa right yep. that was because of ipo's mindset with how he dealt with umezawa yes. and that was with ipo's mindset because of when he's thinking i can't do this he still did the shadow box uh -huh. umezawa saw that right mm -hmm. so so there you yeah. go and that's uh, that's that's the powerful stuff right there yeah that's the stuff that moves people yep. like Yamada to being, mm -hmm. you know, where they are right Belief now. Belief is an incredibly powerful thing. Mm -hmm. Like like as cheesy as that as, as oh, a lot of the matrix cheesy. is. And yeah, and, and that whole concept, but mm -hmm. that part where Morpheus is like he's be beginning to believe. Right. It's like it's true though because then <laughs> yeah. because then you you start to question the reality that you're in and you're like what can I actually do? Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. And and I I I, oh. I say like as a person who's been on both ends of the spectrum mm -hmm. and all the way in between it's it's not fun making the change yeah it's not fun moving from one end towards the other because mm -hmm. you don't know how long it's going to take you you don't know what other sacrifices you're going to make along the way you don't yep. know how much pain it's going to be mm -hmm. like how painful it's going to be at specific points and you can only really guarantee that you're going to want to quit multiple times over right. and over and over and over again and that's why a support system is so important because in Epo's case the thing that was that, that was so tough about this is probably because he didn't really have anybody and the one yeah. person that he did have his mom he wasn't being honest with right yep. so he was making himself be alone and then suddenly umezawa comes around yeah right? umezawa was like, the, the twist we all we all didn't we all didn't deserve what well, was the one we needed right now? And like, right, that because was it's brilliant. it's the happy ending. It's it's the happy ending basically that I that I love to see because I've I've seen those situations where people very close to me mm -hmm. got into that mindset that they were just cursed to be a certain way, right? right? And that and that that's all they were worth and that's all they were going to amount to in life. Right. And they believed it, and as far as I know, they might still believe it. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they are right now. Yeah. That sucks. Yep. It hurts to see that happen. Yep. So seeing, 
seeing something like this happen where where it's something that because Ippo was not trying to inspire Umezawa. Nope. He wasn't. Nope. Right? But Umezawa saw it. Yeah. So. Ah. Ah. Uh, it's good. Makes yeah. makes me fired up for all of the things and dreams that I have as well. Like, it's just, ah, this is, this is why we love sports shows. This, this is yep. what they're really good at. It's yeah. just, just Hajime no Ippo sticks to what it's really good at. And it does these little Umezawa type twists yeah, in there. It's... And it's just like, ah, ah, yeah. good stuff. So y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full length reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us about these stories, about anime in general. And you can also talk with Jake about his book. Yes. My sci-fi novel Battle Lines is still available for order on Amazon. The link is in the description below, so go check it out, leave a review, let people know what you think. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.